In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the student screen feature. On my screen here, on the left hand side, I am logged into my ESGI account. On the right hand side, I have the student screen. To begin, on the device that will be used by the student, go to www.esgiss.com, which is this screen right here. The student screen will appear. On the device that's going to be used by the teacher, go to esgisoftware.com and log in with your teacher's username and password. There are two ways to access the student screen feature in a teacher's account. The first option is to launch student screen directly from your home screen. The next option is to click the menu, select settings, and get the code here. Click to get the code when you're ready, and you will have five minutes to enter it on to the student's screen. Once the code is entered, click to join ESGI session. This screen will appear until you begin to administer a test. Choose the student name, that you'd like to administer a test for, and then click test on the test you would like to administer. Once you click test to begin administering, that's when the student's screen will also begin the test. The student will only see the test question and they will not see whether the answer was correct or incorrect. They will also not see any test notes added during testing. As a student reads you the word, you can mark yes or no, whether they got it correct or incorrect. When the test is finished, the student will see the pie chart with the test session results. When done, click close. Testing another student can continue with this same code by clicking the student's name and click test, and you can begin testing. If you are testing remotely, a new code would be needed for each student.